Sridhar. I am Pallavi Mahagaukar. I am working as an assistant professor at MIT Arts, Commerce and Science College. This lecture series is created according to the syllabus given by Savitribai Phule Pune University for the subject microcontroller. So topic for the today's lecture is pin configuration or pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller. So as we know that this 8051 microcontroller is actually 40 pin IC, 40 pin IC. So this 40 pin we have to study in detail. So the objective of today's lecture is you should uh, get the information or you should be able to identify on left hand side of the IC which pins are there, which ports are there and on right hand side of the IC which port is there or what are the pin configurations for that IC. So as we know that this is 8051 microcontroller which is 40 pin IC. So we will have 20 pins on this left hand side and 20 pins on right hand side. So as we give the numbering from top to bottom, so this will be our pin number 1, this is our pin number 20. On that side we will start 21, so 21 will be on the right hand side of the bottom and this is your 40. So whenever you want to remember the structure, first of all draw the structure. Then what is important to run any IC or to have the supply? One need to have the power supply connection for this IC. So out of this 40 pin, 2 are reserved as your power supply connection. Quite obvious, it will have plus VCC and ground connection. So pin number 40 is your plus VCC which is actually connected to plus 5 volt. Pin number 20 is connected to ground. So out of 40 pins, 2 uh, pins are your power supply connection. Now uh, this IC will require a reset pin. So we have one pin as your reset pin. So exactly pin number 9 is your reset pin. We will see the functionality of each and every pin afterwards. So the objective is to get the idea about the structure of this 8051 microcontroller. So we have this reset pin. Now as we know that uh, this 8051 microcontroller is having on chip oscillator to execute that one need to have the crystal connected and that is connected between pin number 18 and 19 of the microcontroller. So pin number 18 we will treat as XTAL2 and pin number 19 we will treat as XTAL1. So we will see them uh, in detail afterwards. This is crystal uh, 2, connection for the crystal 2, connection for the crystal which is treated as pin number 1. So pin number 18 and 19 are specially reserved for the connection of crystal oscillator. So 2 pin will act as your XTAL. Now there are 3 more important pins of this microcontroller. That pins are PSEN, ALE and EAP. So the position of this is pin number 29 is your PSEN pin. The full form of this is program status or store enable pin.
पिन पिन नंबर थर्टी इज योर ए एल ई पिन विच वी ट्रीट एज अ एड्रेस लैच एनेबल पिन सो दीज आर योर थ्री पिन पिन नंबर थर्टीन थर्टी वन सॉरी थर्टी वन विल एक्ट एज युअर ई ए पिन विच इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सटर्नल एक्सेस पी एस ई एन स्टैंड फॉर प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम स्टेटस एनेबल सो इट इज पी एस ई एन बार बार मीन्स इट विल एक्ट वेन एवर इट इट इज हैविंग वैल्यू लो ई ए पिन मीन्स एक्सटर्नल एक्सेस एक्सटर्नल एक्सेस so this is your eap so this is a rough structure now what about the remaining pins so this is your three pin so total we have 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 5 and 7 pin now let us look at the remaining pin of the microcontroller so uh, the total pins are 8 so if you subtract 40 minus 8 Now you have left with thirty-two pins, and what are that thirty-two pins? That thirty-two pins are your port pin. As we know that that uh, we have four ports with eight zero five one microcontroller. They are named as port zero, port one, port two, and port three. Each port is having eight pins. So that eight multiplied by four will give you thirty-two pins. so 30 32 pins are reserved as your input output pins so 32 pins are your which we call it as a io or it is port pin now what is the structure for that port pin we have p0 p1 p2 and p3 remember odd number of ports that is p1 and p3 will occupy on left hand side and p0 and p2 will occupy on right hand side so this eight pins are reserved as your p1 port this middle pins are reserved as p3 so odd number of ports are available on left hand side and or uh, even number of ports are available on right hand side so this we are going to treat as p0 and this is P two, and how they are labeled? This is one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This first pin we will label. This is port one. So this P one point zero. The meaning is that port one pin pin number zero. Then the next one we will have P one point one, P one point two, P one point three. Likewise, we will have P one point seven. So one point four, one point five, P one point six. Now this is port three. So again we will have eight pins: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and how we are going to label them p 3.0 then p uh, p 3.1 and the last one is p 3.7 now on this side we are having port 2 so again eight pins 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight this we are going to treat as p 2 zeroth pin P two point one support two pin number one. Likewise, the last one we will have P two point seven, meaning that port two and pin number seven. Again, this is port zero, so we have eight pins. So four, five, six, seven, eight. This pin is labeled as P zero point zero. the next pin is labeled as p0.1 so this is port 0 pin number 
and the last one is P zero point seven. This pin is your P zero point seven. So this meaning is port zero pin number seven. So this is the structure or pin configuration of eight zero five one microcontroller. To summarize it, how you are going to remember the structure? First of all, we have forty pin IC. So remember only this part, and then you can have the representation. As this is a simple, uh, this is IC, so it will have power supply connection, and as always, we have plus VCC and ground connection. So two pins are your uh, VCC and ground connection. The next pin is your reset pin, which is a uh, uh, needed to reset the microcontroller. Then you have a uh, crystal oscillator at pin number eighteen and nineteen. So for that connection, you have XTAL two as pin number eighteen, XTAL one as pin number nineteen. Then you have three important pins for eight zero five one microcontroller, and that is your program status enable pin or program store enable pin. ALE pin that is address latch enable and the last one is external access now if you uh, go through the pins it is eight pin so eight pins means two power supply connection one is your reset two are your crystal that is xtal1 xtal2 and remaining three are your psen ale and eap and remaining 32 pins are your port pins on left hand side you have p1 and p3 port on right hand side you have e1 port p0 and p2 so this is all about the structure of 8051 microcontroller now in the next lecture we'll see what is the functionality of each and every pin what is the value of plus vcc what is reset uh, what is the circuit connection at xtal1 and xtal2 then we'll see the function of psen ale and ea pin separately so this is all about the pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller thank you